Alrighty, y'all, today we're going to talk about what radians are. And to answer that question, first we must ask the question, why do we even use degrees in the first place? There's not a whole lot of reasons. Maybe you can divide it by a lot of whole numbers, but there's no good reason. Every circle is defined by its radius. The circumference is just pi and r and maybe a 2. The area is pi and r again with also a 2. It makes it confusing. Uh, angles, we use degrees. Why do we use degrees? Let's make a new unit. We're going to call it the radian. It's kind of like when you go from like inches to meters. It's not really clean, but sometimes one is useful. Sometimes the other is useful uh, and sometimes we need to convert in between them. So to do this, we are going to take a look at this circle that I've made, uh, which has a radius of 13. All right, feel free to count, pause the video and count it yourself. It has a radius of 13. So the idea of the radian is we take the radius and we put it as an arc on the circle. And we say that that angle is equal to one radian. Okay, so let's count it out. We take the 13 radius, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13. Okay, this block right here should be one radian. And if we look at the uh, F3 menu, we're gonna see that it's about uh, 57 degrees, about 57 degrees. Keep that number in your head. We're gonna keep going. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, this block right here, about, is where we are two radians along in the circle. And if we look at the F3 menu, we can see that this is about 115, 114 degrees. We're gonna add one more radius to the circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And this right here should be three radians and we almost made it to 180 degrees. You can see there, there's just a little bit of a gap where we need to fill that in. You can see that one radian, two radians, three radians, plus a little bit is equal to 180. Three plus a little bit, that, my friends, is just pi, okay? That's just pi. So 180 degrees, that's gonna be pi radians or 3.14 radians, and you can keep going. Um, and I'll go ahead and keep going in this process and I bet you can guess how many pies I will be at once I reach a full circle. So let's count this out. I'll be right back. Okay, so how many radians are in a circle? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, plus a little bit. That little bit is actually 0.28. And once you realize that that is just two pi, okay, so a full circle is just two pi, this unlocks everything for you, okay? So if you wanted to figure out any of these numbers in radians, you can now figure it out because you have exactly what you need. If you wanted to know what 90 degrees was, well, that's half of 180, so it would be half of pi, pi over two. If you wanted to know what 60 degree was, well, it's gonna be one third of 180. You take 180 divided by three, you get 60, you take pi divided by three, well, that's what it is in radians. Pi thirds radians. Knowing all this information, we can take degrees and turn them into radians. So if I know that 180 degrees is pi radians, so therefore 60 degrees would be pi thirds radians. 60 times two is 120, that'd be two pi over three. And then 120 times two is 240, which would be four pi over three. So. 240 degrees would be four pi over three radians. We can do the same thing. If four pi over three radians is 240 degrees, then two pi over three radians would be equal to half of this. Okay, so half of 240, that would be 120. Oops. Okay, well it'd be 120 degrees. I didn't mean to break that, but I'm gonna leave that in the video. If you want a formula to convert back and forth, technically you can use this method, which uses 180 degrees divided by pi, which is 57 point whatever, uh, the same angle that we saw earlier. So you can convert back and forth between those two just using this chart right here. And once you know all the numbers between zero and 360, all the other numbers kind of fall into place. So feel free to use this chart as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. This was a comment suggestion from last video. Uh, make sure to hit like on this video and stay tuned. Who knows what we're gonna teach next in Minecraft? Let me know down in the comments. Goodbye.